Mm. Um, are you trying to do a formal coalition with the DUP? No, this is not a, a coalition. This is what is traditionally called a confidence and supply arrangement, whereby the DUP will support us on the big things like voting for the Queen's speech, on making sure the, yes. uh, the budget and the finance uh, goes through. They support us on defence. Um, on the big issues, they'll be supporting us. George Osborne suggested it would be chaotic now because line by line by line they will be coming and arguing about things with you. Yeah, I think George is enjoying his job now as a commentator rather than is. a player on the mm. pitch. We have to deal with the situation in the House of Commons that we have now. It's a minority government, but we'll be working extremely closely with the DUP. We've already started working on outline proposals well, so that we form a government uh, uh, with their support. Can I ask you, have you got an agreement? No, we're working on outline of proposals. Because It'd be pretty surprising if we had an agreement just in a single well, day. Well, last night, um, when the BBC and the Press Association phoned Downing Street, they were, we were told there was an agreement. We could go ahead and report there was an agreement. A few hours later, they have confirmed that. A few hours later, again, they said, well, we're not sure. Then there was a long silence from the DUP. Midnight, and there is no agreement. It already sounds, to coin a phrase, like a coalition of chaos. No, come on. Um, it would be very, very surprising if something as important and as complex as this was stitched together in a single day of talks. Uh, in Belfast. Both sides have got to work through. But what we do have now is an understanding on the outline proposals that would underpin that okay. working so this agreement. So this is a crucial agreement. Will the public get to see it? Will you publish that agreement? Well, you'll see the outline uh, proposals of the agreement, sure. So it will be published? Uh, yes. Well, you'll see the proposal, which is they will support us on I the know, really in big terms issues. Of they will be asking for stuff as well. They, they will not do this for nothing. We need to know what they're going to ask from you and it, whether you're going to give it to them. Well, they'll, they'll be making a statement too. They'll be explaining what their approach to these negotiations uh, is as well. I'm not party to the negotiations, but they will be supporting us on the big issues, the big security and economic issues that uh, face this country, and they will be helping us uh, go into the Brexit negotiations and get the outcome that Britain wants. So these are your new close friends. Are you repulsed by gay people? Well, let's be very clear. Just because they're going to support us uh, they're agreeing to support us on the economic issues, the big economic and security issues facing this country. It doesn't mean that we now agree with all of their views. We don't. And you don't agree with that one. I mean, I, I can no, we quote don't you, agree with all your their new views. colleague, Ian Paisley Jr. I am pretty repulsed by gays and lesbianism. I think it's wrong. I think that those people harm themselves and, without a care about it, harm society. I hate what they do. And on that issue, and on abortion, and women's rights, and so forth, you are now in an alliance with a party which is extremely socially conservative and very, very different from the Conservative Party that David Cameron and George Osborne were trying to fashion not so long well, ago. We're not in government with the DUP. We're not in co coalition with the DUP, they're going to support us, as I said, on the crucial economic and security issues that face this country. We okay. do not agree, and we do not have to agree with any of their views on some of these social issues, and I certainly don't. Crucial economic and, and mm. security issues, you said. A another big, big issue, of course, is the Northern Ireland peace process. Mm. And into that peace process is written that the British government has to be a neutral arbiter between the, two part, between the two sides, that you have to be fair and in the middle. How can you be fair and in the middle if you're relying on one of those parties, the DUP, for your very existence? Well, we've already had a friendship with the DUP that goes back um, many years before, so before this election. Well, we've already had a close uh, relationship with the DUP. We have more in common with them than we do the other parties. But the DUP themselves want to uh, return um, an executive to Northern Ireland. They have every interest in getting an agreement with the other Northern Ireland parties, and we'll continue to work on that to bring stability to Northern Ireland. So they have very different views, not only on social issues, mm. and we note that Ruth Davidson, for instance, tweeted that she had given a speech on, on gay marriage in Belfast immediately after this deal was announced. I wonder why she did that. There's a lot of people who are very, very worried in your party about their social views, even if you're not. Well, we do, I, I, we do not share their views on some of these social issues issues and mm. we don't have to share their views and um, we're not changing our policy on any of that they are going to support us on the very big you know brexit economic and security issues that face this country it doesn't mean we then have to go and agree with some of the stuff that you've read out we don't agree with well, that well let's let's carry on reading stuff out or at least alluding Do. to stuff which is that you have been very very strong in your views on jeremy corbyn and his connection with terrorism and all the rest of it the DUP is supported by people like the Red Hand Commandos, the UVF. Do you regard those people as terrorists as well? Well, the DUP has been part of the uh, 
um, parliamentary process, part of the democratic process in Northern Ireland in, rec insane. in recent years. They've mm. been part of the democratic process. They want a settlement in Northern Ireland. They supported the formation of the executive and they want to see the executive back at Stormont uh, governing Northern Ireland. So they're part of the democratic process now, whatever, I, whatever happened in the past. Are you not slightly uneasy about their continuing links with those kind of groups? Well, look, they are committed to stability and peace in Northern Ireland. They've been part of that negotiating process for many years now. They want to bring peace to Northern Ireland and that will, that will be something we'll be focusing on as well.